this is not going to make you look more expensive unfortunately that could actually have the opposite effect this might be something that you've already discovered on your own but if you haven't Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Marie and I'm all about making fashion make sense so that you can create better outfits with both new and clothes that you already have. This video is going to include a mix of styling tips, shopping tips, and grooming tips on how you can look elegant and expensive without having to spend a lot of money. Now I think it's important to preference that when I say expensive, what I actually mean is classy, elegant, and polished. These are the main style aesthetics that people are trying to achieve when they say that they want to look more expensive. So this is exactly what I'm going to help you achieve with these life-changing tips that I'm about to share in just a minute. Also, I just want to say that you shouldn't feel pressured to dress like this every day. This is definitely not an everyday occasion for me, but more so for those days when I want to look a little bit extra put together. It is totally okay to not look super polished and put together every day. But now let's get into the style tips and hacks on how you can look more expensive on a budget. So my first tip is to invest in quality basics. The quality and composition of a clothing item can pretty quickly give away if your outfit is giving cheap or not. But luckily you can find pretty well made quality items on almost any budget. And I'm not going to go too much into details on this since I already have a whole other video on how to shop quality basics. But what I will say is try to focus on shopping quality natural materials like wool, cotton, linen, silk, and cashmere for example that will last you a long time versus something that's made from synthetic fibers that won't last and will start to look cheap pretty quickly. Basics are basically the backbone to any functional, classic, and timeless wardrobe. So when it's something that you know that you're going to wear more often, it's probably going to be worth it to spend maybe $35 on a really high quality cotton t-shirt that will last you years, instead of maybe spending $5 on a t-shirt that's made out of polyester and that you'll just end up having to replace in the end anyways. Now while we're on the topic of fabrics, focus on investing in fabrics that look expensive but that you can still find on a budget. So like silk silky flowy fabrics, linen is also a good option here, or heavyweight knits, quality wool, or leather pieces for example. So basically minimalistic basics that bring something extra to the table can really help to elevate the feel and vibe of your outfit. Because if you really pay attention, most classy, elegant, and expensive looking outfits are just basics that have been dressed up with accessories or other staple pieces. Another thing to focus on with your outfit is to consider the silhouette of your clothing items. A structured silhouette is typically more associated with being classy and expensive rather than something that's relaxed and baggy. Now this doesn't mean that your whole outfit has to be structured but I would consider to add at least one structured element to your outfit like a blazer, a pair of office trousers, pointed toe shoes, or a structured bag. All of these little elements in your outfit can really help to create a more expensive feel to your look. Also if you have some room in your budget after you invested in your base Basics, I would invest in some structured clothing items that can hold their silhouette on their own. So blouses like these for example, or dresses like these. Shoes and bags can also play a major part in how your look is perceived. I would go for a sleek minimal shoe that's not too chunky and I would also make sure that my shoes are in the best condition that I can get them to so that they are clean and crisp. For bags I would invest in something that goes with most of your outfits and your lifestyle of course. Again a structured bag here would be ideal. Now when we've talked a little bit about shoes and bags I want to hop over to accessories. So accessories is actually super important when it comes to looking more expensive and I would suggest to keep it minimal and focus on the details. Priority wise, I would suggest to first focus on earrings, then a belt. And I really think that belts often get overlooked when it comes to taking your outfit to the next level. After belts, I would go for a watch or a bracelet and then rings and necklaces. You want to keep everything balanced, so nothing too chunky next to each other. The easiest way is to just keep everything minimal, but it is fun to switch out your accessories depending on your mood. So if you already have some statement pieces that you love, Love and want to wear, I would suggest to go for one statement piece at a time. However, if you don't have a lot of jewelry already, you can invest in some staple pieces that you can re-wear with all of your outfits. Especially jewelry is seen as such a personalized fashion item that you can really get away with wearing the same ones every day, which is why I again am going to suggest to invest in 
a few quality pieces. So don't go to H&M and buy a bunch of fashion jewelry. This is not going to make you look more expensive, unfortunately. That could actually have the opposite effect because cheap jewelry is pretty easy to spot. So instead, opt for fine jewelry that's made from silver, gold, platinum, or other precious metals. And these don't have to be super expensive. You can get 925 sterling silver from Amazon for like 30 bucks. And 925 sterling silver is the highest quality sterling silver that you can get. And it's also made to last. You can even get gold plated sterling silver pieces for around the same price. And I'm talking a lot about sterling silver because I'm personally allergic to a lot of metals and I have found that sterling silver works the best for me and my skin and it is also affordable. Now you are going to have to figure out what works best for you but I really think that fine jewelry is the way to go. So now when I'm styling my accessories I would try to make sure that all of my hardware match for the most polished look. So either keep it all silver or keep it all gold. I know that mixing silver and gold is super trendy at the moment and it's even something I want to start doing as I build out my jewelry collection but it is so much harder to make it look stylish, polished and intentional. So if you're just starting out with jewelry I would definitely suggest to go for either gold or silver in the beginning and then you can start to build out your jewelry collection over time. I would also suggest to intentionally choose your shapes so either go for more rounded shapes or more angular shapes. By repeating shapes in your outfit this will help to keep the cohesiveness throughout all the jewelry and accessories that you're wearing. Of course it doesn't have to be all of your jewelry but try to repeat some shapes. Like maybe you have a round watch, more rounded earrings but a rectangular pendant necklace or you have a rectangular watch, a rectangular belt and more rounded earrings. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So not all accessories need to have the same shape but having a little bit of repetition sprinkled here and there can help it feel more intentional and more stylish. Other classy accessories that you can consider are silk scarves, sunglasses which is a big one, also claw clips and hats. Now we're going to go even deeper on the details because yes, looking polished is all about focusing on the details. So some of these tips might already be obvious to you, but I'm going to say them anyway because they are really important for your overall look. So first we're going to talk about underwear. Investing in seamless, almost invisible underwear is not only going to be comfortable, but it's also going to eliminate those bumps and lines that can show through your clothing, creating a more seamless and elegant look. You also want to make sure that you're wearing the right underwear depending on the clothing item. So that means wearing the right bra so that bra straps don't show and also wearing the right color so that the color doesn't shine through your clothing. And this might be something that you've already discovered on your own, but if you haven't, wearing white underwear underneath white clothing will actually shine through and break up that seamless look that most of us are trying to achieve. So instead, when you're wearing white, you should opt for nude underwear that are as close to your own skin skin tone as possible if you want your underwear to truly go undetected underneath white. Another tip is to try to keep your clothes in a good condition. So make sure that they're clean and wrinkle free before you put them on. You can also tuck in your shirt and roll up your sleeves to make your look a little bit more polished. Then this tip is a total game changer and that is to tailor your clothes. So if you really want to elevate your look, you need to do your research and find a good tailor in your area. And surprisingly, I I have found that it doesn't have to cost a lot. It just takes a little bit of effort, but I would definitely say that it is so worth it, especially when you start to invest in quality pieces and then make those pieces fit you exactly how you want them to. Because clothes is not a one size fits all. They are mass produced and have to fit so many different body types. So unfortunately, you can't really expect clothing to fit you perfectly right out the gate. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to take everything to the tailor to fit you perfectly. Some styles are definitely meant to be oversized. So it's really just up to you to think if you would wear that clothing item more often if you got it tailored to fit you better. Now we're going to move over to color and something that can really make or break your outfit 
is your color palette. So choosing a classy color palette is key here, but I think all of you already know that a classy color palette consists of a lot of neutrals. So I would definitely start with my neutrals, but if you wanna slowly introduce some color to your color palette, I would suggest to go for rich, deep colors. For summer, if you wanna wear something brighter, pastels can look really classy as well. But I still think that really rich colors will give you more of an elevated feel to your outfit. But if you wanna go for lighter colors, I would try to avoid these dusty, muted tones because they can really cheapen up your look. The safest option would of course be to go for neutrals, maybe go for an all monochrome look. Monochrome looks are always classy and they're really simple to do. And when you put together a monochrome outfit, that doesn't mean that you have to stick to the same shade, tint, or tone. Having some contrast in your outfit is really key here to make your outfit look more dimensional. You can also play around with interesting silhouettes, fabrics, and textures to keep your look more interesting. And of course, don't forget to utilize your accessories. Black and white outfits can also look really high-end and expensive. In general, I would say that solid colors are easier to style, and here I would stick to the three color rule, which basically means that you only style three colors throughout your whole outfit. My favorite classy color combo is white, black, and beige. This combo is also what I would call matching three contrasting tones, which is essentially when you match one light tone, one medium tone, and one dark tone together. This will add depth and interest to your silhouette, making it look more stylish and intentional. And you can really do this with any color combination you want, but the idea is that you want to stick to three colors only, and I would highly suggest to stick to neutrals. And lastly, we have our grooming routine. And I just want to touch on this lightly, but how you style your hair and makeup can really do so much for your overall look. I would encourage you to focus on self-care first. So focus on skincare, hair care, nail care, so that you can be glowing from the inside out. Then of course, you can style your hair and makeup however you want. But if I can make a suggestion, keeping it minimal really goes a long way. However, I do want you to feel comfortable in your look. And I really do think that if you invest some time in your self-care routine, that that is automatically going to make you just feel more expensive. This is definitely a journey that I myself am still trying to figure out, but you can start with one thing at a time to not get overwhelmed. Because if you don't feel good in your own skin, slapping on an outfit, whether it's cheap or expensive, it's not going to make you feel expensive unless you feel good about yourself first. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. It really helps me out so much. And if you want to learn more about how to dress better, I would highly suggest watching this video where I talk about how you can style better looks by learning how to balance your outfits. Also, follow my socials linked below if you want daily fashion inspiration. And see you in the next one. Bye!